So I just learned how to create Chinese and colonial knots thanks to this fabulous book right here, A to Z of Embroidery Stitches. And I found them to be so much easier and consistently cleaner than fringe knots that I questioned why I've been doing fringe knots for years. But a lot of you may not have heard of a Chinese or colonial knot, so I thought I would do a quick tutorial. And this one's going to be for the Chinese knot, and then I'll do another one for colonial knot pretty soon. I have six weight thread, um, and then three weight, two, and one, along with corresponding needles. And this is just a piece that I whipped up a minute ago that I will add some knots to throughout as an example. Let's start with the six weight. Is that the right terminology? Weight? I don't know, maybe it's just um, six strands you're supposed to say, but I've always said like one, two, three, four, five, six weight rather than strands. I may have entirely made that up though. Make sure you get that knot in the end of your thread. Or if you choose to secure your thread in a different way, then that's cool too. I've been learning about other forms of securing, so that's always fun. And then first step is of course to come up through the fabric wherever you want your knot to be. Pretty basic there, make sure it's secured in the back. The next thing you'll do is create a loop in the thread to the left and then flip it over. So your secured end of the thread right there should be on top and then your tail, your loose end, that's going to be underneath. Now you can put your needle through the loop that you created and then back through the fabric. You want to do like one or two threads over, that way it's really secure, it's not great to go down through the same exact hole. Pull the knot tight around your needle before pushing your needle all the way through and then all the way through, don't get caught on your fabric. And there you have it, a completed Chinese knot. And it was so simple to create, so easy. You really don't have to worry about it getting tangled or having like those extra loops that often happens with French knots, which is never fun. So we're coming back up through the fabric, creating that loop, the loose thread is underneath, the secured thread is on top, and then we go back down through that loop and put the needle into the fabric, and then you just really want to make sure that you pull that knot tight before you get through, just like you would in a French knot. Um, if you just pull it through randomly, I'm not sure how well that would work out. I haven't tried it though. And then we pull all the way through. There you go. Those extra little loops and everything, honestly, it just doesn't seem to happen regardless of what you do. And ironically, um, the book actually had instructions on how to create a looped Chinese knot, like if you wanted a loop coming out of the top right there. Um, I'm not sure why you would want that, but I followed the instructions to try to create a looped Chinese knot, and I honestly couldn't get it to work. It was like impossible to actually make a loop out of the top, which I just find um, really impressive because I've done whole pieces out of fringe knots and we did not end on good terms. There's just too many ways for them to go wrong and these are just way, way easier. Now see in that one, You've got a tiny, tiny bit of loopage on top, a little bit, because I didn't really pull it super tight before letting it through, but so little in comparison, you really can't even tell. try with a smaller thread weight. So we'll move on to the three strands here and give that a try. See what it looks like.
There we go. A little bit smaller. Looks great. Let's try the one strand. I'm going to skip two because it's pretty much going to look the same as three. Tiny bit smaller. knots in the six strand, the three strand, and the one strand. So I hope that tutorial was super helpful to you, and if you are not a fan of fringe knots, then look forward to seeing some Chinese knots in your future pieces. And stay tuned for a tutorial on colonial knots coming up soon. Thanks everyone! Thank you.